What's up, guys? Today we will be doing a Tampa versus Islanders preview. Um, here's my guest. It is my dad. <laughs> How are you? Um, today we will be doing a preview for what we think is going to happen in the Islanders and Tampa series. What do you think is going to happen, Dad? No, I think that we need to focus on Game One first yeah. and foremost. Um, you know, they're going to be down there at Amelie Arena playing the game. And uh, I think there's going to be a feeling out process. These teams haven't met each other since last conference finals. So last year in the bubble, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, normally they would have played each other this season. Um, but given the fact that the divisions, divisions. were a lot different, um, mm -hmm. they didn't get a chance to play with each other or play against each other. So mm -hmm. we don't necessarily have a uh, great idea of how they're going to match up. But we know that Tampa is an extremely talented team, yeah. but we also know that the Islanders are capable of rolling four lines and playing a really hard-nosed game. So I think the first game what we're going to see happen is they're going to really kind of yeah. feel each other out and, and see what happens. Now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if the game kind of gets away from the Islanders a little bit tomorrow and the Lightning basically might run away with it like they did that, you know, back last year in the first game. But then now they're able to kind of figure it out and really kind of push them into the next game. So um, what I'm thinking is, you know, the Islanders are talented. Maybe not as much talented as Tampa is, but you know, I have a feeling um, the Islanders got some new younger players. And how you how you saw, I think in the first round against um, Pittsburgh, Washroom got hit. Um, I'm wondering if Washroom's going to come back in the series. Oh, I think they. I think they keep it pretty tight-lipped in terms of injuries. So um, I haven't heard any updates on Me. Oliver Wallstrom. Oh. So basically, with that being said, you know the thing that we want to kind of keep in keep in mind is you know who, who's currently playing. And we saw in the Boston series um, how Tampa really rolled all four lines, and there isn't necessarily you know they're not a team that's full of superstars. Uh, they have obviously Mark, Matt Parzell who. I would say, you know, across the NHL, people know who he is. However, um, the Islanders work collectively as a unit, as a group, and it's everyone contributes and everyone does their job. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how they look against Tampa Bay, because I think that they gave Tampa Bay um, one of the their biggest challenges last year during the Stanley Cup yeah. playoffs, and they probably, you know, played them the hardest and gave them the biggest uh, the biggest challenge as they move forward and. Tampa obviously won the Eastern Conference final and ended up going to the Stanley Cup and beating Dallas and becoming the Stanley Cup champion for a reason. So. Um, how are you saying about Barzell? Um, he is a talented player. You saw um, how he did the between the legs goal um, against Buffalo. Um, he is a talented player, Barzell. And there's a bug going across my face. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, back to you, Dad. Yeah, I mean, Bar Matt Barzell's a game changer. Yeah. Uh, I think that, you know, at the beginning of the series with uh, when they were first basically in round one. So during the round one, you know, we didn't see um, a lot of him in terms of goal scoring yeah. um, against Pittsburgh. Um, but he was doing a lot of things away from the puck and focusing on his game. And uh, uh, Coach Trotz thought he uh, was doing, you know, basically doing his job of, of what he could do. And I think we saw him really kind of come out uh, during the Boston series and really make a, a, a big impact. You know, he saw him score some key goals, set up some great um, goals as well, yeah. um, where he assisted. And um, you could see how engaged he was and how excited he was, you know, coming off the ice. He was, uh, you know, basically saying, let's go. He was, uh, you know, yelling at the crowds, it's our house. So he's having a lot of fun. He's bought in, he's bought in right now. And he, you know, I would say also to look at as you have a lot of high school talent. Um, and the talent that you have there is, you know, like Anthony Beauvillier. Uh, that's another one who's been um, doing quite well. And uh, Brock Nelson has been lighting it up. Uh, he um, has definitely been potting a lot of goals. And we've also seen a lot of uh, good things coming um, from J.G. Pajot. I thought last series against the Bruins, he did an amazing job against Patrice Bergeron in terms of face-offs. Yeah. Patrice Bergeron is kind of known as the guy who wins face-offs in the NHL. And, and, you know, the way that Coach Trotz put Pajot out there to face him, he did a great job um, facing off against uh, Bergeron who I love, and, um, you know, winning those draws for the Islanders. So it, it's those different in-game adjustments, adjustments that they make. So we'll see kind of how everything rolls around. Uh, I think it's going to be a really good series, you know. And, again, I, I know Tampa's got a lot of household names yes. in terms of talent. they got an amazing goalie in Vasilevsky. They've got 
huge star players, Stamkos, they've got Nikita Kucherov. I mean, you keep going down the list, all the players, you know, all their lines are very dangerous. The Islanders want to avoid getting into kind of this fast game because now, or the, the Bolts, and, um, the Lightning, will can easily run away with it really quick and make you pay. Well, also what I think is if Montreal wins the series in the other, div um, in the other series, um, if Montreal wins that series and the Islanders win the series against the Lightning, I think the Islanders will have a chance of in the finals beating the Canadiens. Well, yeah, I think I think the key thing for the Islanders is to you know stick to their identity, and what their identity is is you know rolling four lines and playing tough. Um, they're a team that basically wants is known you know to be a team a team that's really tough to play against. So as long as they kind of stick to that and, and grind it out and hopefully stay healthy, um, I think that that'll be huge. You know, the one thing for them that I think that um, is definitely being sorely missed is not having Anders Lee. Yes. Because he was that type of person who had the net presence to set up screens and um, score those, you know, those, those dirty goals. goals. <laughs> um, he'd clean up kind of those rebounds and score. So uh, he's definitely being missed in the series, but it's amazing what this team's doing kind of everyone together, um, there aren't really anyone that's, you know, passengers as Coach Trotz would call, so, uh, you know, call someone if they were not pulling their weight. Yeah, it'd be cool if, like, um, Lee could come back if the Islanders make the finals. It'd be cool if he can come yeah, back. Lee, well, we won't be, he won't be back. Then, unfortunately, <laughs> it is uh, quite a bit of a recovery time for the surgery that he's had at that point, so. And recently, he just got back on skates, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, he's out there skating, so. Mm -hmm. And he's recovering, obviously he's not in game, you know, yes. anywhere near game shape or clear to play. And the last thing you ever want to do is, you know, really damage or have a long lasting damage by rushing someone back. So anything else you want to cover on the series itself? Or I think that um, we'll have to kind of see how game one goes and, yeah. uh, and kind of read, have, read from there and see what the adjustments that maybe either team is going to make. But I think it's going to be fun to kind of see how it plays out. Yep. And I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a good series. <laughs> yeah. Now again, it's something where I think the Islanders could take them deep and really play them hard. Obviously, everyone is going for Tampa Bay right now, and then Tampa Bay is the biggest favorite. So uh, I think the Islanders like playing that, maybe a bit of that underdog role. And um, you know, we'll see how it comes out. And that's all we really have to say for the preview of the Islanders and Tampa Bay series. And that's it. Goodbye. See you later.